These are the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. It's weird triple laning where you are sharing XP quite heavily, but if Bulldog can't get oh. to lane, then he's not going to benefit. He is level 2, though, so you can't really go in on this. Dudu is just hanging about. Yep, Kellen just throwing cues, being frustrating. I feel like the uh, the karma can be pretty powerful oh, in lane swap scenarios two. as King goes in once again. This level one experimentation of the Lee Sin is kind of working out, but there are three bad guys there. Cuz also in a little bit of trouble as the Sand Soldier's getting involved. King in was still on fire while he was looking for an angle to get back in, but he's still lurking and he's still level one. As now the Hawkshot is going to spot him out. Oh dear. He's he is, uh, yeah, he's guard. just, he's totally fine because there is a teleport uh, coming into the bottom lane. Leaper is going to dive towards uh, Kingen, who gets the heal from Kellen and uses Bulldog to taxi back to his teammate so he doesn't have to fly. Might have been an angle. Sometimes, you know, these mid laners just don't know all of the strats, although they probably know that one. Um, yeah. Either way, not having a good time in the mid lane. Obviously, Showmaker picked up that massive wave top. But even ignoring that, you know, Azir, a pretty punishing laner, he now has a two-level lead over Bulldog. Yeah, and uh, Kellen's still being annoying, but kind of uh, losing a bit of his health bar for it. First Drake going on over to D+, as Trisha Barrage is going to miss, but he does land the Q, and both of those, like an ultimate and a Q, the Q does about the same amount of damage uh, here on the Ezreal, so that's just totally fine. Uh, Kingen going to uh, at least spot that Kuz took some grubs. Duo. Um, in the top side, partially due to the lane shenanigans. It looks like the focus now is towards the bot lane. As Andal's gonna go in, some W's landing here. As in goes the Elastic Slingshot once again. Glacial Prison goes down though as Cuz, he's getting smaller and smaller and he will be divided cellularly. As Aiming's gonna be able to take this last one. There it goes, first blood onto the Zac. And we're still perplexed as to why it was picked. Yeah. Oh, Leap is gonna have to flash. And also going to have to flash. That is a scary piggy. Did it well. They, they hit did the do abilities, it well, but he wasn't, you know. Oh, well, there's an arrow on the Lucid. He has Frost Armor, so he keeps himself alive for quite some time, but still he's going to go down. Bulldog collects that kill. The first one for Quantum Freaks goes to the Zeri. That is good news. As now Kingen looking for an angle, misses the Q though onto Andal, so he's not getting in there. Quantum Freaks now looking for six grubs as well, and if they can lock this down, will be great for them, but there is a Hextech Drake alive as well. Fancy plates have kind of been smashed already for Quantum Freaks. They've got to get out like the reserve ones. Yeah, bit of a Greek wedding. Uh, it's all right, Dudu just going to be snagged by a Q, but otherwise he should be okay. Decent Narbar positioning there as well, as uh, now aiming getting in amongst it. The Manganar will be coming in. The W comes down, True Shot Barrage is there, and Dudu is, is now just stranded. Oh. There's the Q. And uh, you saw the True Shot Barrage damage, right? Yeah, it was about the same as that Q. Kill has 140 CS at 13 minutes, two kills, and a full tower worth of plates. It's not going to be a fun time for Quandon Freaks. Do you think that aiming might get the most gold this game? Is Bulldog's just going to come over and execute Kellen? I'm not sure what Kellen's idea was there, but Lucid's going to come on in. Bulldog going to get flashed on by aiming. The last couple of autos are going to do it. He just stands his ground. He wanted Cuz to come over to him. The Stretch Armstrong comes through, and the arrow is going to sail into the Sejuani. And Showmaker's here, guys. So I don't think the Quantum Freaks are going to be able to answer back too much. I'm the king, and then you have to one up, you know, in the yeah, 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 yeah. arguments. He just keeps going to go for the OTP fun coming in All right. from Kingen. Let's see whether Kingen can actually find a good kick angle here, as Cuz is going to get spotted on that control ward. There is the delivery of Leaper, and he's Ash. He doesn't have flash, he's not getting out of this one. As now Bulldog, he might get sent over the wall and he will. Kingen has his waiting arms there and that is going to be the Tempest to take him down. Oh man, D plus just kind of turning it on. One of the beautiful things with Lee Sin top lane is that you just get a TP into a flank angle. Lee Sin jungle never gets to do that. Yeah. And so comes straight in, gets a beautiful kick on a Leaper and uh, things are uh, quickly falling uh, apart. Uh, things are going well for the Karma's team. Wow, look at that uh, gold lead between the 80 carries. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. 
That's well, weird. Is that, is that a thing that aiming often does? Well, at least it's only a pick like Ezgul. You haven't seen him be that strong with Wade. Walking into the enemy jungle with impunity. Maybe not the right move, but the Glacial Prison goes down. Now it's King and finding the angle. True Shot Barrage connects and takes out the Ash. And so they'll trade 80 carry. Oh, and jungle perhaps. There's the safeguard kick. And the Cell Division is going to once again be taken out. There it is. Kill goes over to aiming, as of course it does. Aiming now going to reposition. Great toggle on the vision from Jonas Strong there as well as Andal's going to be wiped out. And yeah, D, D plus should not get Ezreal, guys. Long Freaks win this game. Yeah, I think as Andal might be caught out because he's going to be there. He does rocket his way over. There's a really nice Mikhail's from Kellen though as aiming. He's just raining the damage down. He doesn't even need to press an ult button because he's just going to kill everyone. Lucid trying to get himself out of there, but that's a triple kill for aiming. It's going to be a quadra. He's hitting everything as well. There's that quadra kill that we were talking about. Kingen's dead. Um, but now Dudu is just trying to walk his way out. Lucid they might just Penta. sacrifice himself for the will of the Penta. And uh, yeah, the thumbs up comes through, so I don't think uh, Dudu's going to be dying. So just going to have to be aiming, settling for a quadra kill. Yeah, 9-0-1 I mean, on the Ezreal. I think this game would have been completely over, whereas now it's the game is... completely over. <laughs> 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 I did like your angle, though. That was almost a glass half full. Uh, all right, Shoemaker realizing that he's going to have to try and vacate the area. Teleports come through onto the Sun Disc, but Shoemaker does not have very much. Oh, as, oh my goodness, this safeguard was so good. Not going to quite be enough, though. Now King is going to get rammed into the wall and destroyed. This Sun Disc is uh, getting a lot of work done, though. Oh, so congratulations for that. And uh, the aiming val value is coming in as well. Just throws the ultimate. Wow, that's um, uh, a lot of damage. Yeah. Uh, let's, let's, well, that's a, it's a really nice cleanse from aiming. Let's see whether he can keep himself alive as, uh, all right, they're gonna get crashed into by Shelly as the solo killing monster Lucid just comes on over. He's gonna get another charge now that's here as well. That was gorgeous. We thought that Peanuts drifting past the turret was cool. That was cooler. That's the double headbutt. D plus are now taking an inhibitor at 20 minutes into the game. We want to remind everyone as well that this was our longest game of the season. Last time these two teams met, uh, we broke that record. And now, yeah, this one's over at 21 minutes. An absolute shellacking. Just true domination. And Dudu is just going to get stunned in the air. Showmaker getting a bit confused and thrown around, but he's not taking very much damage. Emperor's Divide gets rid of the Zac. True Shot Barrage is flying through as well. It is very early in this game, and the health bars are going exceptionally low. But the Cell Division comes through once again. D plus, they are so low. And now they're going to have to try and get out. The Extendo Beam, let's see whether that can get the work done. I can hear the Quandong Freaks fans. They are going ballistic as aiming. He has to dodge it. He finds oh, the kill. And now, hey, Lucid, you're going to have to get out of there, buddy. I don't think this one's happening. But still, I think the message has been received. Okay. Getting a Mountain Dragon, you know. Um, well, maybe. We'll, we'll have to see. That Lee Sin Q is not from a Lee Sin that can actually smite. So that's OK. Not going to cost them. And you know, it's a big comeback. Yeah, he's uh, doing a lot of Ezreeling. And you now know? he's got Cleanse, QSS, and Mikhail's. Oh. oh, yeah. I think he needed all of those, yep. certainly. Just um, so that he can Arcane Shift forward as much as he likes. Yep. He will never be CC'd. And although he will be CC'd for a great many days. Uh, aiming going to be able to find it there as the Arcane Shift's over. Let's Bounce oh, comes kick. on through. That's a beautiful kick onto Bulldog. And it's another double here as Aiming looks for it. He actually thought that he just killed Leaper there. He did. And he did! Because the red buff finishes him off. He also takes down the cannon. That's very important. Dudu running for the hills because he knows that's what he has to do. Just avoid giving quadras and pentas to aiming. And that is going to be precisely what he's going to do. Dudu and Cuz now on the fountain. The Nexus is in trouble. The flash forward from Lucid. And aiming still trying to find a few of these, but I don't think he's going to be getting a penta because the game is over, ladies and gentlemen. Setup for the Zyra's Grasping Roots can actually be pretty strong with the Renekton. Well, so, this good angle. Ziggs Ezreal's going because they kind of... I don't want the Ziggs to be mid. Big wave crash. You can see Cuz is running over. If Dudu gets dove here, his game is over. Yeah.
He's still level two. Level four here for King, and yeah, he needs this wave. He absolutely needs this wave. And there's the flash forward. Grasping Roots comes in. This is exactly what we were talking about. As the spear is going to connect onto King and the dash forward, Coz gets a little bit back. And there is a teleport to come through here. Lucid could be in trouble as Cuz gets the flash out. The spear needs to land. It does not. Pretty decent position for himself. There's certainly good news on that top side as Aiming and Kellen have been a little quiet. You can see that uh, the Ezreal doing a pretty good job as far as uh, lane is concerned. Hasty Dune, the swap of all nearly levels can be really advantageous and just give you a lot more breathing room because I think champions like Leona Level three, I mean, even level two, but normally what happens in like a standard lane playing out really just doesn't feel like he does very much at all. It's okay, Solar Flare this time not going to really connect his handle. Takes a big journey under the turret, but it's Kellen that's going to be the one that receives the death. And Kwandong Freaks, they move to two versus one in those kill scores. This bottom lane going way better. Um, this is, it's getting a little bit rough for Bulldog in the mid lane. And now Lucid set up for something here in this top side of the map. Yeah, it's close to Mega, so this is risky. Well, they're going to do it again. Stranglethorns does come in as Dudu gets the Nar into the wall. King in is going to tank that last turret shot. Lucid tries to get in front, but it's just not going to be enough. And now, Kuz looking to transition to another kill this time, as the screw is not going to quite connect there. Lucid going to flash as now looks for the return, but doesn't quite get there. Kuz throws out a uh, optimistic spear. He's really stunned King in, but it didn't matter. Kuz is still there to clean up. Can't take down Lucid once again, but they will definitely be happy with the outcome there. And now, Quantum Freaks are setting up on this top lane tower. And I would love to see Bulldog if he can make a move over just to Satchel, but I don't think it's going to be necessary. Yeah. As Arrow going to connect here on to Dudu. He has to get out. Yeah, and it looks like E Plus going to win out on this, especially with the demolish in the bot lane. So they will be getting the first tower. Oh, yeah. sure. Actually, the Zig Zolt is yeah, not, the not able to get that last one. So that is first Star of Blood going over to D+. Quanong Freak's going to have to settle for second. That is going to be taken there still. I think that uh, Quanong going to be quite okay. The rotation over, but they're a little bit late. I have a feeling that DK not going to be able to quite get in here in time as Kellen takes a bouncing bomb to the Noggin. And that is going to be because with the fadeaway, that locks down the second Drake and a Hextech Soul oh, man. this game as well. Navigate the lanes okay. Gold is pretty even. They have two dragons. Oh, Kellen. Yeah, that's a decent uh, handshake once again as the hostile takeover comes in. We'll see whether Kellen's going to be able to survive. And the answer is no. The bailout. It comes forward. They're trying to fight this one out as Leaper. He's going to fall. Aiming now, looking to try and kite out Andal. He does use the Zenith Blade to try and close the gap, but uh, he is still very dead. And that's a double kill for Aiming's Ash. Clean up. Oh. So good moves from Kellen, even though he goes down, he made that play work. And now TP coming through, King and Ann, show making here, Andal, I think they're just dead. Yeah, the double TP to oh, come forward. Mega Inferno Bomb does come down as Lucid's in so much trouble. Right in the back of the pit, there is the Nah onto Showmaker as well, but Dudu's taking so much damage, Aiming is untouched. They do manage to get the Zyra, but now Aiming with that barrier is able to lock down the Ezreal Bulldog, trying to get as much damage down as he can. King and is fighting with the Rift Herald. Cuz is there, he's got Smite, so he'll be able to take that one out. It is a two for two in the end. Oh, two for one actually, but they do manage to get themselves the Herald, so Guano Freak's kind of okay with it. But having a Zyra there can be pretty devastating as well. You were mentioning that this mid lane turret could certainly be pretty close to death. It's not quite in range. As Arrow going to connect onto the Ziggs, there's a flash forward, Stranglethorns goes down, but the Satchel is gorgeous. And Bulldog's able to get himself out with the help of his Flash as well. The Hextech Cookie as well, and they've started off this Dragon. Let's see whether Cuz can actually land a couple of Spears to try and get on over here. They wanted to take down this Rift Scuttler. You can see D-plus Showmaker playing Bouncer. The arrow is going to fly in. A bit of a zoning arrow there, actually kind of working out. But Bulldog's going to take this turret in the top side. And the Zig's getting so much value. Outer goes down in mid as well. Absolutely worth yeah, here I, for Quantum Free. I think it's the right decision. You know, very close to Horizon Focus, second item. These are some big item spikes you can definitely play around. Arrow comes through. Yeah, it's going to connect onto the flashless Zig. Sidestep from Lucid. He finds the Grasping Root. Stranglethorns, but he gets the satchel off. Large damage from that uh, Mega Inferno Bomb, but now the flash forward from Showmaker. Can he get it? Yes, he can. 
And that is going to be some revenge there for Showmaker from the mid lane. This so is too. the problem I think D-Plus's comp has into Quandon Freaks. You don't have great engage options. You are outranged heavily. If they ever get set up first and objective because you're late, you know, they went to buy after going topside, you just can't do anything. And now they are one dragon away from Soul. Lucid gets back Hex Gates and one heck of a thing. That's going to help him out. These spears all need to be avoided. As soon as one of them lands, I think that that's just Soul. Yeah. Going over to Quandong Freaks. And there is one of oh. them. Kellen is just dead. He flashes forward. King and finding the back line there as well. And it's a decent ulti from Lucid. But in goes Dudu. He'll find the crush. He'll find the wallop. And out goes Lucid from the fight. Showmaker can't do anything. And I think we're going to game number three as Quandong Freaks will secure the Hextech soul. Felt like the pressure was just building up. Skill shots being thrown out. The combo connects on a Kellen. And they didn't lock it. It could have been. The Nidalee on the other side, but instead, Cuz says, no, 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 no. You're not going to get Renekton Nidalee. I will take this one away, and Cuz has looked absolutely fantastic. There goes the Baron. Very comfortably secured here by the Quantum Freaks. And now in the situation where, with the Hextech Soul, if some of this poke lands, the impact is so big, because any time D-plus are remotely close to each other, you just AoE slow on the whole team. If they find a big arrow from aiming, now is the time. Well, Leaper is just going to try and throw all of his burst onto Showmaker. True Shot Barrage goes wide, though. So Showmaker will be alive for now. Mega Inferno Bomb comes down. There is Bow. poke for days. And Quantum Freaks, yeah, Kha's even going to land that spear onto aiming. It's brutal. Yeah, it is. It's Siege. it's not looking very fun. There's also a Megana that's just traipsing his way down this top lane. And he is not really being answered. There is King in there, but Quantum Freaks, they'll just be able to satchel all of these turrets. D plus spread way too thin as now Kellen going for a weird flanky angle. But uh, nothing much to be found as two and hips have been removed. We're looking for a teleport angle. Let's see whether King can actually get himself in. He flashes for it. And uh, he's just by himself. He's going to be ripped to shreds. Mega and oh! bombs up once again. And the bailout is on aiming, but he's just dead. Not getting out of this one. Bulldog, a massive game on this Ziggs. And Showmaker is just going to be torn from the rift. Quandong Freaks, welcome back to the LCK. We missed you. Really solid performance there. Poppy support coming out into the Rel. Decent matchup there. They needed some AD with a composition. It sinks well with the Sejuani. But importantly, playing an AD carry champ mid, if you fall behind as the Corky and the Trinomir, he will dive you. Aiming and Kellen just taking some control here of this lane. You can see already, I mean, there is a big wave stacked up. But Leaper oh. needs to be able to pick this up. They need level 3 as well. Andal doesn't have his W yet and it makes such a big difference to defend against this dive. Yep, Lucid just gonna walk in. That is gonna be a plate taken as well. Heroic Charge does come down as Kellen trying to crash out of there, but he's just dead. The teleport comes in from Dudu to save the play. As Lucid will be able to grab at least the first one. And we've got another Heroic Charge onto Kellen. He's just dead. Just eliminated. Andal is a monster. Absolutely, and I feel like this is part of the play pattern of the Poppy setting traps. That wall stun lasts so long and does so much damage. It's such, uh, such a threatening ability. And Bulldog's starting to feel the pain a little bit in the mid lane into the Trindomir. So obviously yeah. you can stay in through all your damage at this point. And if you ever get low, you're, in, you're always in dive threat. Well, now it's going to be a dragon picked up for the Dragon Lady. That feels fantastic. Showmaker does have the ulti. Now looking for it as the Void Seeker is not going to find the angle. Really not able to reset uh, very often. As, all right, Shattering Strike. There's the crash down onto Andal. Will they be able to punish this Poppy? That's the question. Step fast presence. He's trying to get out, but there's a flash from Lucid. And he just says no. That is going to be an answering kill. Deep plus on the board. Option as Andal is just, uh, just doing whatever he wants, I guess. Uh, Bulldog now trying to deal with Showmaker here. Does, of course, still have the ultimate. Well, he's never going to die, but Lucid's also probably going to struggle oh. to hold on to this one as the Glacial Prison goes wide. Equalizer is something that Andal has to deal with, though. Heroic Charge, he knows that he's dead. And now Kellen looking for an angle onto Kuz here. Dragon's Descent is up, and so uh, Kuz can just uh, Dragon away whenever he would like. Yeah. Not anything that Lucid's going to be able to do about it, but that is just a trade three for three. And so Kuz pretty happy about that. Still, the fact that, like you say, 
Uh, Lucid has been able to just keep up, keep up with farm, just be on complete farm parity with uh, with Cuz is kind of huge. So that's good news for D plus at least. As now Andal, uh, he gets a ward down and Stepfast presence comes on through. That is a lot of value. Still, that control ward is just going to be taken out, and D plus have full control over this dragon. Yeah, it's not like last game, Orcs. Absolutely isn't. Uh, it's going to be an Ocean Soul. Another one of those. As uh, Cuz is going to get prison. Okay. There's the Keeper's Verdict, as Showmaker comes on through here and isn't really going to be able to do too much. In the meantime, Leap is dead by Kellen and Lucid getting to work on this Rift Herald. Let's see whether they can find a Glacial Prison. Andal going to take that one. Stepfast Presence was down. There's the Dragon Descent as Kaz just getting ripped to shreds. He is not tanky at all, but they still managed to get enough damage down as Leaper going to get altered on by Aiming. He supercharges, and now he's going to pick up a triple. Oh, it's Aiming's Kaiser all over again. Getting bullied out yeah. as he was on the Lee Sin. Also looking like it's a bit cruel uh, for Dudu, who's uh, really struggling into the Rumble, as is to be expected, but still. Great uh, Showmaker as well. I was wondering what he was going to be building that Tiamat into. So. Yeah. But like to have a little bit more ability to team fight as Bulldog doesn't get chickened. Um, Showmaker takes a lot of damage. Lucid as well, now having to deal with three people, but he's so tanky. There's the crash down. Cuz is just torn apart once again. Oh man, I was expecting the Shivana to be really good. What's going on here? As Bulldog almost dies to a harpoon to the noggin. And, uh, yeah, Kingen is just kind of playing with his food right now. Showmaker comes on over, and Bulldog is very dead. It was almost the Winter's Wrath that takes down the Corky, but, of course, it's aiming instead. He's 7 0 1, guys. He's pretty fed, you know, and I feel like he's trying to get this one on lock. They take down that Tier 2 Tower bot. I'm this starting. Game is looking rough. It is. I'm starting to agree with Wolf. Definitely. Kellen actually finding a phenomenal angle in this fight as well. Have to Look. credit uh, this guy's rel play so far today. Look, I, I know that that Shivana has worked well in the LPL. I know it's worked well in the solo queue. I know that it's not just a champion, but man, have our junglers stunk on this pick, at least you know. Yeah, um, or, or more than one. Uh, he just yeah. did his, his his bite on Showmaker. I don't think his health moved. Well, Showmaker's health doesn't even need to move. As now Leaper is all, he's just dead. He's just dead, not able to skate out of that one. There's also a kill going over to Showmaker, who um, makes Andal a little bit frightened. You can see the frightened chicken up there. Love that. I'm really glad that that uh, animation has stayed in the game all this time. Yeah. Because uh, if, if Trinomir lost his chicken, you know, because he is like a super hardcore cool character and stuff like that, but then like puts a little frightened chicken. I love that. It's so off theme, it's beautiful. I think that's why the Shivan is struggling, because Kuz not dealing well with the chicken emote. Yeah, no, it's um, understandable as well. It is very intimidating. And D+, plus, they are going to take a Baron. Um, that's going to die at 20 minutes into the game. Baron was only 14 seconds old. Wow. <laughs> Locked in. I kind of felt that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, the worst part is, is it's not only the Shivana getting locked in, but it's also the Rumble getting locked in. That was well. I go into each game, I'm like, let's see what this jungler can do. Oh, the Equalizer down as well. And now Bulldog, he's not going to be able to get out of this one. There's Killer Instinct. We all knew it was coming. And Cuz just going to be avoided by aiming. He still had the flash, still a thousand gold. Goes to Andal. Oh, God, that's not where they wanted the money. But he has been the best performing player on the team. As Showmaker is just spinning Slash over the wall into the enemy base. And he still has the ultimate. I don't think he's had to press it all game long. And yeah, uh, yeah they're, just, they're just gonna, the, just gonna kill the turret. Just a, a Trinomir game where you win and you don't press your ult once would, would surely be the biggest flex in yeah. terms of how doomed the game was, you know? Playing with our ultimate. You know what reminded me of? There was that MSI. Um, I think it was in 2022 when it was like. Uh, rise against Anivia. It's when you go undying on Cogmore, you know? Yeah. Where is your passive? Oh my god. It's like god, when you go undying on, on Zyra. This is moody phase where he's oh. by himself. Andil. All right, he's going to look for that flank angle. They want to get Kellen. Magnus Storm onto seven people or something, but he's still dead. There's no one else there. And Glacial Prison going to come in. Equalizes down as well. Bulldog and Leaper, both of the 80 carries That's are dead. just roasted. Oh god, okay, Dudu wants all out of this game, to be honest, and he chose the wrong target because he can't win the 1v1! Not with this, Kaiser. Aiming's too big, and that's going to be the ace! That will be the end of the game!
And uh, King improving once again that, uh, yeah, you can't leave the Ezreal up, but you also can't leave the Rumble up. I love how Rumble was just like not the, was by far not like the main focus of this game. He kind of just did his thing top lane. He joins a team fight, one shot everyone. <laughs> yeah, just actually everyone. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that champion's still broken. Yeah. Um, well, it's me. All right, there goes the game, and D plus able to bounce back after a game two loss. These were some of the best highlights from today's 2024 LCK Summer Split matchup. Which moment was your favorite? Let me know in the comment section below. This is OP, and I'll see you tomorrow. Take care.